guys, if you're seeing my face for the first time, I am Anchal. I'm a fashion content creator, and I welcome you to this video. So the world has come to a halt again, and the situation right now is a hundred times scarier than earlier. So I hope you all are doing safe and doing everything that is required to keep yourself protected. If times weren't such, I would have normally gone about making my usual draping videos on my IGTV. But I know nobody in the world wants to see that, and I myself don't want to create any sort of content which is irrelevant. to the situation that it is currently i know it has become very serious very scary out there so i thought it would be nice to make something which is not so educative but entertaining which would help me lift my mood a little bit and also be entertaining for you guys as well to watch all right so you all know i mean some of you that my content is like a sea of hacks draping hacks but today i thought it would be fun trying out some existing ones viral ones that's right we're going to try out draping hacks from 5 minute crafts I think I've blabbered enough. Sorry about that, but let's just get straight into it. So in the first one, the girl uses a long dupatta, and I guess she's using a hair tie to tie it around her bust, and then she made the sleeves out of the leftover fabric, which looks great. Okay. Wow, that's a cute off the shoulder dress. I like it. Alright, I have to mention this. There are two factors that I keep in mind while I make my drapes. One is how the back looks. The back is as important as the front. Two, how wearable it is. These two factors, along with the others, are going to be equally important for me while trying these out. Only then I'll be able to suggest if they work or not. This is the scarf that I'm using. It's a cotton scarf, and hope it works. Here we go. Then she just ties a hairband over here. I just have this. That's it. I'm just going to tighten it a little bit. It really depends on how much fabric you're left over with right here to make the sleeves. So won't be able to say that it fits all body types. I think she what she does is she pins this behind over here. But since I have a lot of fabric left, I'm just going to pin it in the front. Okay, so that's what we got. This is the belt I'm putting around. I'm just making a few adjustments. according to my liking that's the thing about draping you can always do things according to how you would like them to look i would definitely put a pin somewhere around here so that it is secure and now i'm going to pull this down not so bad right this is how it looks what like i have a little bit of problem with the sleeves here it could have been more stable i think for that these If pinned behind somewhere over here would work a lot better. Yeah, see, that's it. I think that can be fixed. So overall, I think I like it. Have to say this totally works. It does what it promises. So I give this eight out of ten. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Wow, that is one heck of a big sarong. Okay, she ties the two ends together and puts them behind her neck. Now she is wrapping the leftover fabric, wrapping it around her waist to make a cute little dress. I love this. We have to try this. But I don't have a sarong or a chiffon dupatta. Yes, I have this silk scarf, which is pretty big. It's definitely not a chiffon, so I am expecting some bulk and some slipping. But I just want to see if this hack works. Tying the two ends together. Placing behind my neck, picking it up. Picking it up. All right, she might be onto something here. Okay, why is this better than I expected? <laughs> It's come out really nicely. So I would definitely put a pin over here to secure this. It's working. It's covering the back. It covers the front. It would definitely have been better if the scarf material wasn't so slippery. But overall, this totally works and it looks like a dress. I love this. I think I would wear this on a vacation or something. Final thoughts. I say it works. Moving on. So she's folding the scarf on a bias and wrapping it around her waist and tying a knot. Now taking the leftover fabric, tying a knot, knot on the waist, pretty secure so far. Twisting the ends and wow, tying it around her neck to make a halter neck backless top. Ooh, so cute! 
I really want to check if this works. Looks like it would. I don't think there is any reason for this to not work. Looks pretty secure to me, I mean. Let's see. For this one, I'm going to use this stole, which is definitely not as wide as the one she is using in the video. P.S. This stole is from my friend's website called Artisaga. She has tons of authentic Indian handicrafts on her website. If you are interested in this scarf or products like these, check it out. I'm going to link it down below. It's not a sponsored video at all. Just giving a shout out to a friend. Okay, let's do this. I'm hoping that the width doesn't come in the way of making this hack work, but I'm just going to go with it anyway. So making sure the lengths are equal. Now she just ties it around her waist like so. Grabbing both the ends from behind and making a knot. And I think the width is coming in the way. Now she tucks this inside like so. Next, we are supposed to have enough fabric to twist the ends like so and tie it behind our neck. But in my case, it's not going to happen because I don't have enough fabric left. So I'm just going to move this up a little bit. And I'm just going to give it like two twists and then tie it. I'm just doing one more change because I want them to fit here better. So I'm just going to tuck this in and twist a little bit by tucking the excess in. Alright, that's what I got. I'm happy with this. I'm so happy with this. It's like it looks legit. I love it. I'm going to give you a closer look at the neck. Maybe requires a little bit of fixing over here. Something like this would work, I think. Yep. That's it. Solves the issue. The back. It's a legitimate hack and it works. I'm just going to give this a thumbs up. Alright, so this one is very interesting. This girl is about to make a play suit using a scarf. So she's tying the two ends together along with the midpoint of the dupatta. So oh, she's passing them through the legs and tying. What did she tie behind her neck? I couldn't figure that out. See, the problem with these videos is lack of direction. You have to basically watch them 10 times to figure out what they mean. What? What the f Okay. Another knot at the waist and that's done. Okay. First impression, I don't think that looks cute. But you never know unless you try, right? For this one, I'm using this beautiful dupatta again from my friend's website. It will be linked below. I'm making a knot at three points. Okay, this is what we have. Now I'm supposed to pass this through my legs. All right, from this, I can't figure out what exactly she picked up to tie around her neck. This goes behind. I can already tell this is a fail. This is so funny. Huh? I don't understand this. There is no way I can put a knot over here, so I might just pin. I know the front looks ridiculous, but you're not ready for the back. Just look at this. What is this? There she goes, she's using the same huge serum again and I'm probably not going to be able to make the exact same cute little dress that she's made here. Again, I don't think the back works over here because I can't see what she's done at the back and how I can imagine it, there is no back to this dress. I can guarantee it, there is no back to this dress. For this one as well, I'm using the same huge silk scarf that I have and let's see if this dress has a back. Taking the two ends, passing them through this. And I'm supposed to pull this even further to tie it behind. This is what we've got. This is definitely not a dress. The back looks something like this. Remember how I said this dress doesn't have a back? There is no way this can cover the whole entire body. This might just pass off as a top, but a very dated one. So I'm just going to give this a thumbs down. She 
she just made herself a wow beautiful top out of two bandana scarves can you believe that i have to give this a try okay so i have only one satin bandana scarf and this is just a cut out piece from one of my garment construction projects that's exactly why it is not hemmed so it's fraying from all the sides so let's just look past that it ties the two ends of the scarf together like so puts them behind the neck ties a knot takes remaining fabric behind and ties off it ooh that is cute it works for a beach i think it's perfect i like it So this definitely works and I love it. I think I'm going to do this again if I ever go on a vacation. That being said, this one gets a thumbs up. All right, guys, that is it for today. Surprisingly, most of these worked. I was not expecting that, but I had so much fun doing these. Which one out of these did you like the most? Let me know in the comments below. If you have come across a draping or any kind of fashion hack which you want me to try on, do share it with me on my Instagram, and I would love to try it on. Please leave a like if you enjoyed watching this video, and it would mean the world to me if you could hit that subscribe button, press the bell notification on because I'm going to be very active on YouTube now onwards, and I mean it this time. And yeah, that's it. Stay safe, take care, and I shall see you next time. Bye bye.